He's annoying to me. He's annoying to me. Greetings, citizens. I get to you guys, you find it entertaining. It's strange, isn't it? Isn't it strange? <laughs> um, but I find him annoying. Go make yourselves a cup of coffee or something. He might go on like this for hours. And that's my own personal, he annoys me. Actually, no. Poor old devil, no. In the 21st century, a weapon will be invented like no other. Better, stronger, faster. Unstoppable. He has only one purpose. Win fights. Right, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We have just returned from New York yesterday. And uh, we're pretty jet lagged. We've got a lot of questions coming in. So, of course, we want to answer it on the channel. Give you guys a treat. This way, you get the real answers on the Tom Aspinall official channel. Um, so, we're just going to do a little walk and talk here in the beautiful Manchester snow. Do you ever worry about your cardio considering the longest fight of your UFC career is only like six minutes? No, believe it or not, I train for 25 minutes for five rounds every time. The issue that I've got is that my opponents can't stand. Um, it's, it's, that's not a me problem. That's a problem for my opponents. My opponents, for whatever reason, uh, can't take the attacks that I'm putting out there. So uh, whether that be power, speed, precision, whatever it is that I'm doing, my opponents can't live up to that. So uh, every time I'm ready for 25 minutes and sooner or later, that will happen is I'll have a 25 minute battle with somebody, but right now it's not had to happen, which is great. And if I can keep going, knocking everyone out in a minute or two, I will do, but I'll be ready for 25 if I need to. Does the state of the heavyweight division look exciting to you? Do you see an influx of talent coming into the division over the next couple of years? And if so, are there any heavyweight MMA prodigies that you know of that you would like to face in the octagon someday? Um, the heavyweight division's a lot, the talent pool's a lot smaller than it is for most of the divisions. Um, but right now, I think it's made, th there's not really any guys that I, I've got my eye on coming through. I think, yeah, he's gonna be really good. But, you know, there's, there's guys coming through all the time, but right now I only really look at like the top 10, top 15. So anyone coming through is probably not on my radar just yet. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Big Tom, loving the amount of content at the minute, mate. We're spoiled. <laughs> My question to you is, who is your favourite fighter to watch in the current roster and why? Hmm. I mean, there's a lot. I'm a big big MMA fan, obviously, as well as a fighter. So um, I think Alex Pereira is one of my favourites to watch just because he's so exciting. Like, he brings he brings the heat a lot of the time. I'm big Ilya Teporia fan. Big Alex Volkanovsky fan. Um... But yeah, I think, I think probably them three are the three guys that I like watching the most at the moment. Oh, of course, it was Islam Makachev as well. I absolutely love his style. But uh, to be honest, I watch any MMA really, so I'm a fan of everybody, but those are probably the top three or four guys who I'm interested in watching. What was your feeling during that knee injury and what was what's your favourite meal during training? Oh God. Uh, well, the feeling in the knee injury wasn't too good, obviously, um, but that's done and dusted now. That's way in the past. Favourite meal during training is I love a good steak. That's probably my favourite meal in general anyway, whether I'm training or not. I just love steak. That is something that, yeah, that's my, that's my go-to meal is a steak. Can't beat it. My question, champ, when do you see your next fight happening? Bracket. So we all know from that smile that it has to be John Jones. Please reply. Thanks a lot. Yeah, <laughs> my uh, we're in negotiations right now. Is the honest answer. So we don't know when the fight is going to be, but I'll be ready to go whenever. I'm back in the gym now. I'm back in the gym training as always, and I'll be ready to fight when they let me know. Until then, I'll be improving. I'll be getting better. So no great rush on that. Obviously, I want to fight as soon as possible, but um, right now. We're just waiting for a date, that's it. Favourite tattoo style and designs? I'm a fan of all tattoos, really. Um, my favourite design though, my favourite like style, I can't really say one design, but I really like, like the Japanese style, the um, oriental kind of style. But there's, there's all different styles that I like as well. I like, I like old school styles, I like um, colour I like black and grey too I like the photo realism stuff I, I just like tattoos so I'm not I'm not really too bothered what style how did it feel like being a backup fighter I wouldn't do it again 
I wouldn't do it again. That's for sure. It's very stressful. You just don't. I just couldn't fully relax for the full time. Um, but it's done now, so that's a, that's a box ticked. But I won't be doing it again. Right, let's take a little break. Big news now on school. You can head over to my school page. Big changes are being made over there. We are going to make it free to start an MMA community over on my school page. Make sure you click the link below. Head over there. This is now free. Head over, join the community for free. Now click the link. How did it feel coming from working at an O2 store when you were at Bama to headline in the O2 arena for UFC? Some rise of greatness that mate, glad to see it. Working at an O2 store? I didn't think you I've had. Never, worked, never worked at an O2 store. I used to, before I was working, when I was working. All what the was jobs, Tom, Tom Aspinall's jobs? My Aspinall, Tom Aspinall's jobs were, I'd done a few jobs, but my jobs were always like to pay for my fuel, to put in my car, to go to the gym so I can train, pay for supplements. Pay, pay for anything that contributes to me being a professional fighter. So I used to work on the door a little bit, work security jobs. Uh, I used to work in a gym. I used to teach uh, kids classes, adults classes, MMA classes, grappling classes, Thai boxing classes. I used to do that. Um, for even like odd jobs, like I used to, I used to clean a little bit. I used to be a bit of a cleaner and stuff. Just anything that I could. One, one, at one stage, I was even being a delivery driver for takeaways. So I just did, I did anything that, that I could. Job. Anything that I could. It was a good job, actually. I used to get loads of tips. Um, is Cyril Gano Volkov 2 a harder fight? Um, they're both tough fights. They're both tough fights. I think um, stylistically, they both bring, both bring their own problems. And in the heavyweight division, you're never one punch away from disaster. So I can, I can lose to both them guys on their day. But uh, yeah, I think they're both tough fights. How do you keep yourself motivated to stay competitive or just stay motivated with these long breaks in between fights? I mean, the breaks aren't that long. That's just the way that it goes when you're at the top of the division. Um, it's pretty easy. I just don't want to get beat up in front of millions of people. So the motivation is there. I, I never just train for six weeks. I'm training all the time to get better. So even even if I fight another six months from now, I'm still training to get better because I don't want to get my ass kicked in front of millions of people. A lot of these, but almost similar, but do you feel confident in your ability to stay in the fight through later rounds and get through tough spots? Big fan, by the way. Yes, I do. I absolutely do. And I'm going to show that one day, but until now, I've not had to, and it's not my fault, it's my opponent's fault. At what age did you start growing and when did you reach your full height? What age did I start growing? Well, when I was born, I started growing. Uh, but I, I presume they mean when I started growing tall. I started growing tall when I left school, so when I was like 16, I wasn't that tall when I was like at school and stuff. But when, as soon as I left, I started really, uh, I went on a bit of growth spurt for some reason. Looking back over <clears throat> the last 25 to 30 years of MMA, who are your top three of all time favorite heavyweights? If you haven't been so passionate about combat sports, what do you think you'd have focused your athleticism on? Well, if I, if I wouldn't have been so co passionate about combat sports, then I probably wouldn't be as athletic as I am. That's just a product of me um, doing combat sports for a long time. Being involved in a sport is, I needed to improve my athleticism to be better at what I'm doing. Uh, but my top three heavyweights of all time are probably Fedor, he's probably one. Um, Cain Velasquez and Stipe, probably my three favourites. Who'd win an MMA fight between Andy Aspinall and Mike Tyson? What, right now? <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't want to see it, to be honest. Watched Mike Tyson box the other day and I thought, I don't want to see this. My dad's also like 61 years old, so I don't want to see either of them have a fight ever again. How many times a day do you train? When are you getting ready for the fight? When, when, am I get, when I am getting ready for the fight? Yeah, when you're getting ready for it. Twice a day, generally twice a day. Sometimes three, sometimes one. But uh, I'll do six days a week, usually twice a day. What if John eye pokes you? You know he'll do that, right? How are you going to deal with those oblique kicks? It just isn't fair with John, is it? I don't know. I've not fought him yet, so I'll, I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But for right now, I don't know. What does your training regime look like in a week when you're preparing for a fight? And is it different when you're not prepping for a fight? Uh, so I'm, I'm someone who trains consistently anyway. 
But when I am training for a fight, it's mainly the intensity that's different, really. Like, I'll, I'll still train once, twice a day if I've not got a fight. Uh, but the intensity is way different. The intentions that I'm putting in to my workouts are way different when I'm fighting. I'm, I'm focusing on what I'm doing. I'm not, um, I'm not slacking off when I'm, when I've got a fight coming up. Every, every training camp, sorry, every training session when I'm in camp is very intense. Do you think you could beat Brock Lesnar in his prime? Yes. Why? I'm just better. Uh, I'm way better than Brock Lesnar. <laughs> That's why. I mean, he's old now, but when he was in his prime, I still think I would have beat him then because I'm just better than him. Has there been any talk between you and Eric Nixick about training or sparring with Francis Ngarni? Yes, but that's personal conversation. So I'll uh, I keep that I keep that away from the camera. Me and Eric are friends, but that's that's personal business. It's a secret. What's your go-to routine to train cardio? I'm a young fighter currently in college and haven't been able to train too often, so I was wondering what I could do to improve cardio. Well, you need to if you want to do MMA, you need to be sparring, really. Sparring and, and conditioning drills with a partner is the, is the most specific thing you can do for MMA. You want to be making it as close to a fight as you can. Like, of course you can run and bike and swim and all that stuff, but that's not specific to, the, to what you're trying to do. If you're going to, if you want to fight MMA, you need to be doing MMA hard, fast. Is that, that's the best way to get good fitness for MMA. In all the years of fighting, who is the opponent that has taught you the most? Not the better, but who's taught you the new skills? Mm, I don't know. I think you learn everything from every fight. Even if you can win the fight in a minute, you still learn about yourself a little bit. So I would say every fight is like a little, little lesson in itself, in my opinion. Is there any specific martial art you like to train? What is the most, what is the most fun martial art according to you to train? Um, I, I don't see it as separate martial arts. I see MMA as one thing. I don't see it like separately. I think MMA is a sport in itself now. I think the days are gone where it's all separate. So I just like to train MMA. I like mixing it all together. That's what's fun for me, not the restriction of one thing. I like the way that it's open and uh, you can you can train it all together, put it all together. Last question from me, mate. What, um, what are we expecting in the next couple of weeks for, for the channel? I don't know what, what we're expecting. I thought we were having a week off, aren't we? all right okay so we've been doing a lot of content we've been putting a lot of content out there recently we've obviously just come back from new york we have another trip planned coming soon so it's all go so next week we're going to be off there's going to be no video next week um i don't want to force content out there just for the sake of putting it out so i appreciate everyone watching everyone subscribing and stuff but i only want to put stuff that's quality out there for you guys and uh i don't just want to put stuff out for the sake of putting it out so We've got some big stuff coming up. When we've done it, we'll be putting it out there, but next week we're having a week off. Road trip! Road trip! Right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. As always, thanks for the support. We've been doing, I say we've been doing a lot recently on the channel, on the uh, on the socials as well. We're doing loads. We've been doing a lot of stuff, but thank you very much. Couldn't do it without you guys. I appreciate the support. Let's keep the channel going. Let's keep the socials going. Let's keep everything going because we have more big, big stuff coming up here soon. So if you're not liked and subscribe, please do. And until the next time, I'll see you soon.